Okay, here's my stadium tour. This is the Dr. Pepper ballpark. That's the main gate. Down right field, or right uh, first base and right field. There's third base, left field. Oh. Outfield is non existent. And there's the field. Isn't it a great stadium? Just kidding. Stadium I was planning on actually get here early enough so I can drive around it and show you guys, but um we're running a little tad behind, so they already have the road blocked off, so we're walking up to the stadium now. And I'll try and get as much of it in as I can. Of course it is a Dr. Pepper ballpark, home of the Frisco Rough Riders. This here is the main gate. We'll go across to there and then we'll walk around a little bit on the outside. You can see the statue here that's outside of it. I'm not sure who it's supposed to be. It doesn't actually say. It just talks about it being a baseball player. And then we have the first base side and then third base side. And we're going to walk down this side so uh, we'll see if we can see if anybody is hitting in the batting cages. Here we've gone a few steps. We're still walking down the sidewalk. I'm not going to show the entire walk because that'd just be boring for you guys. Um, this is batting cages. You can see through, maybe. Looks like the uh, rock hounds are hitting in the cage right now. There's Daniel watching batting practice for the rock hounds. Okay, this is a layout of the stadium. This is outside. Here's the, the um, schedule. And this here is the office building part of it. And this is all on the coming out the third base side, going down towards the outfield. Here's one of the parts that Daniel likes, the playground in the park, and the bounce house. There he is. Say hi. Hi. So we walk down past one of the gates and you can kind of see the infill and some of the Rock Town players are practicing out there. Kind of get an idea what the stadium looks like from out here. But I'll do my best to show you better when we get inside. Here, here, here you can kind of see some of the outfield and the right field wall. 
a little blurry. I'll get a better shot once we get inside, but this is like a lazy river area out here that you can ride in. I'm gonna try and walk over there before we get in and, and see if we can get a good shot from outside. Here we are back in, this is outfield, and they have some little uh, food truck area set up out here so you can come out and grab some grub other than the stadium food. So just another uh, cool thing about the stadium. Here I stepped away just a little bit. There's like a little park area out here. This is out still, you know, we're not in the stadium yet. And if you can kind of, oh, there's Daniel. Where'd he go? There he is. If you see this building over here, it's kind of the back half of it, but this is where the uh, Dallas Stars practice. So if you're hockey fans, that just shows you how close they are to Rough Riders. And there's Daniel. He wanted to be on camera. He said, look at me. So here I am looking at him. And here's everyone else looking at him. He's going to do a little dance. Oh, now he's going to be shy. I don't know. Let's continue the walk. Okay. And here's kind of the lazy river area here. Looks like they have some... Uh, Little private party going, pre-game going on here. Well, there's more, more of the lazy river, and we're almost down to the end, to this side, and then we're at the opposite end by left field, looking back towards the uh, home plate area, all the way at the end. And that's, I'm gonna say that's gonna conclude the outside because there's really no need to. Uh, Keep showing outside. Squints pictures or autographs, so doing a little panorama view here. Here's the stadium from the inside. We might do a little walk around. There's the uh, Jumbotron, everything's Sandlot tonight, it's Sandlot night. And we're leading three to nothing right now. Let's see if I can zoom in. Here's our road to the show. Let's see if I can zoom out and get it. This is where they have all of the players that have played here and now on the majors. I'll try and get some of them. If you need to, you can pause and slow down. What's that, buddy? That is Joey Gallo. Good job. And here's the uh, newest ones from this year. Let's get the teams that they came up to. So you'll see some of you uh, Philly fans. There's Maria Alfaro. Here we got a look from behind home plate. To my left. To the right. Three thirty-five down the line. Four oh nine. Three sixty-four. Here we're looking at first base. Oh, and here's the lazy river. I'm gonna try and get a good shot of it. Sun's a little bright. Right there. 
So I'm trying to get around it, but how many uh, ballparks can you come out here and take a dip in the falling waters and laze around in a lazy river while it's going? Looking from right field. Oh, drink machine. Oh, bright. The sun is really bright. But you can kind of see that. Here we are in center field. If you look, instead of seats in center field, it's grass. So you can buy, come out here and buy a $7 lawn seat and bring blankets as. These guys over here did. And uh, come out here and enjoy a game for only seven bucks. Here we are in between innings, but here's a look from center field. Let's go over to the left, which is that way. There's Daniel. And you can always play some beanbag toss or whatever it is over here out in the outfield as well. And these guys are playing some big Jenga. Don't make it fall. Here we are where the sun is not in our eyes in right field. Behind the jumbotron. You want to go down there? Go. Just don't fall. Go slow. Here's the Jumbotron up close and right field. There's a Rough Riders bullpen, but nobody's up because they're winning. There's some Round Rock players, or not Round Rock, uh, Rockhound players, Midland Rockhound. And then here's a look at right field. There's the batter's eye. Center. And then the lazy river with the waterfall going off. This is voted one of the best minor league parks. I don't know if that's just in double A or in uh, all major league or minor leagues, but hey, we sure like it. Some little kids running from the beast. Well, I was zoomed in and missed the fireworks, but he made it. Ex outfielder for the Tigers and the um, Blue Jays and a few other. Uh, other teams, Anthony goes now trying to come back as a pitcher, making his debut with us. Sorry, I'm not a very good cameraman when it comes to live like this. Any of you know uh, Rangers infielder, I think shortstop right now. Jerickson Profar, this is his brother, Jeremy Profar. I'll zoom out a little more, that way you can see everything.
fireworks this time. And let's pass that boot. Sponsor back to our crew club. So power yeah, runs in the family. Pitcher Reed Garrett warming up. Pitcher's down there. <laughs> Can't quite get it all in this shot. Oh man, did you see that? Not sure if I got that. I hope I got that. <laughs> that was an amazing diving catch. Now that is over by the catcher, Jose Sevilla. I just happen to be looking at Reed. Possibly cut that. With the Rock Hounds gathering on the mound, game over. And on Sandlot night. What did you get? Oh. Do you know who gave that to you? Me. Tyler Davis. He was the starting pitcher for tonight. On the way back to the dugout, or to the locker room, he gave that to you. I'm gonna try taking the flash off. Yep, too dark. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Oh. Again, here's the night version. We lost six to four. Dr. Pepper ballpark. Over and out.